What is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a final war recap from the CWLL uh, war. Um, unfortunately, uh, we did not make the CWLL playoff, uh, playoffs. Um, we did wind up winning this war, uh, 72 to 65. Uh, so we're, we're excited about that. We were happy about that. But at the same time, bittersweet that the CWLL season is now over for us. Uh, we did have that one loss to UK Weekend War, um, and they moved on to the playoffs because of that uh, win. They props to those guys. They, uh, they had a great season over there. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to next season's CWLL and hoping uh, that, that we can um, uh, capitalize on, on our momentum this season and, and, uh, and, and push ourselves into the playoffs. Uh, that said, um, there's a lot to look forward to. We have a new podcast that's coming out, and in fact, uh, the first one comes out uh, Monday night, tomorrow night. Um, depending on when this video uh, airs, but uh, check it out. It is called Two Bees, One Hive. Uh, you'll have Weiser, uh, JP, Patino, uh, several guys. If I can make it, I'm going to be on there. Um, we're, we're, we've got a, a, a very cool format where we'll be interviewing people from uh, different clans, um, some of the leaders from some of the top war clans in the community, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, check it out. Uh, okay, without any further ado, let's hop in and look at the war statistics from this war. So here are the basic war statistics. As you can see, uh, 22 triples for One Hive Invicta to 15 triples for War Addicts, um, 72 to 65, 96% uh, damage to 90% damage. Um, if we go over here and have a look, you can see that they were able to... Um, Two star, both of our Town Hall 11s, uh, and both of those were done by Town Hall 10s. However, every one of our Town Hall 10s was left open, not a single Town Hall 10 triple. Uh, that's really what killed them. Um, a couple of 9s left open here. So on the other side, uh, yeah, so uh, we were able to get both of their Town Hall 11s. Uh, two starred. Uh, the first one, um, or the, their top one, we had to hit with a with a town hall eleven. Our top town hall eleven. Actually, I think that it might have been two starred. Yeah, this was actually two starred. This was a this was a triple attempt. Um, pretty sure by Trumpy. Yep. Uh, that was the last hit of the war, I believe. Um, then we three starred all but one of their tens, um, and we uh, have a couple of ten v ten triples here that we're gonna watch. Um, and then, of course, cleared all of their nines. So uh, we had a pretty good war. It was it was a um, a, a nice rebound after a, a tough war uh, with Tactical Ink that we um, <laughs> really really struggled a bit with. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into these attacks. And we're going to start at the bottom. We're going to look at an attack by Ruda, where he used the Pekka Smash. So he's going to start up here, the Queen start set, setting a funnel um, and th the plan was initially to push everything kind of together here you can see that uh, healers were over on that uh, left side wanted the healers to walk or wanted the queen to, to walk towards that air defense she's not gonna do it um, she's gonna go down the other the other way uh, start setting a funnel down here drops a couple of uh, pekkas with two healers on them and the queen is going to march right down this right side. Uh, fortunately, there's an air defense that's out there in the open, and the queen does uh, is, is able to get that air defense here in a bit, you'll see. Um, so funnel is set nice for these P.E.K.K.A.s up here. Um, in come the Valks and the Bowlers. There we go. And so everything is now uh, down and ready to go here. He's got a couple of loons for the back end. Um, you'll actually see that those loons wound up not doing him a whole lot of good. Now this is a tough spot to be in because he's got the CC coming out. It's three baby dragons and only one wizard to work on those. But he did have a double poison. That was the plan. Double poison. Uh, puts down his heel right there. Um, and finally those go down the CC goes down uh, you can see now he's pushed through most of this base drops a couple of loons those loons are going to do him basically no good here you'll see uh, but it doesn't matter this base at this point is just wrecked just lost uh, the healer on his kill squad over there um, 
kind of tough to call it a kill squad since it's pushed all the way through and done a lot more than just uh, forced an entry and taken out the queen. But uh, Pekka is up. Both both Pekkas, I think. Oh, I, yep. Is that both Pekkas? Maybe it's just one. He might have lost a Pekka in there. Uh, but Valks are up. Um, King is, of course, up. Queen is up. I mean, just wrecked this base. Very nice job. That is three stars in the bag. Way to go, Ruda. All right, moving on. We are going to have a look at Attack by Rising Savage. Uh, she hit number 20. She, Rising Savage had a six-pack this war. Um, right? Yeah. Uh, hit number 20 um, with a mass hog attack. So you see there she has... 34 hogs, or had 34 hogs. She brought three Valks. Just trying to get the CC here. Um, this is the type of base that it's... it's uh, Often these bases that are, have an, an easily accessible CC and an enemy queen, you want to think about a Penta, but with that tight air defense in the middle, Penta becomes very tough. Lots of overlap. Lots of possibilities to get those balloons just eaten alive. Um, anyway... Uh, She's got the CC, she's got the enemy queen, and she starts coming in with hogs, and lots of hogs. Uh, at this point, she's released almost every single hog that she has. Um, hogs in the CC, so I said 34, she actually had 40 hogs total. Um, an attack like this, you can about cover everything that the hogs, you can almost cover that entire base with heal spell. Um, her heal spells were a bit compact, uh, the, the last heal spell here you'll see is going to miss just a little bit. Had she had that heal spell a little bit closer towards this uh, um, expo, those hogs would have survived. Not like it really matters. She's still got a lot of hogs. Drops in two, drops in her last three there. Uh, I mean, she's got three point defenses left and a mortar. Two point defenses now. One point defense now. And that is it. Um, it is all over. Nothing but clean up. Lots of hogs left. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job. And a swag queen ability to boot. All right. Um, let's have a look at Riggle. You guys know Riggle is Captain Sparrow. Um, he hit number 18. Um, and so this was actually... Uh, I did the same attack, uh, unfortunately. Um... I got a 98%. Uh, I had a wall breaker fail. Uh, Riggle makes sure he doesn't have a wall breaker fail. Now, the original intent of this was to push the queen up this way. That was my intent. Riggle, you can see, is actually trying to push her back down this way. Um, it actually works out much better that way. These uh, healers are going to wind up um, latching onto that kill squad as they, as they move in down around this corner. Um, so, uh, takes out, um, a, a bit of garbage up there, uh, a couple of hogs in, and gets the enemy CC taken care of, um, marching, marching along down here. As soon as that CC is done, he's going to put down his golems, and he's going to start getting ready for this corner entry. There they come. He's going to clear out the garbage that's sitting here. Uh, only needs wizards on the one side there gets that wall break, <laughs> make sure that he gets the wall break. Uh, there it is. And King is down, and here comes the bowlers. And they are, everything is moving in, and it's looking really nice. So so now you've got um, a queen who's uh, got four healers, well, two healers left anyway, bowlers, golems, just a great, great uh, kill squad here. Um, Jump to the queen, going to take out both of these expos. Uh, at, at this point, there's very little that can harm hogs down on this bottom spot. He's got a couple of point defenses. Might have brought a giant just to tank for those real quickly. Not that it really, really matters. He does have, have a heal for them yet. Um, I, I kind of expected more springs down here, but he only loses that one hog there, and I think he's going to lose maybe a couple more up here. Yep. And that is it. Uh, pushes through. Uh, this is the spot that I got to also. Um, I, I, I unfortunately just did not have enough, le enough time left for cleanup. Um, he does. And it is tree stars in the bag. 
Nice job. And I appreciate you cleaning up my mess. All right. Look at all those troops left. That was a solid plan there. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on. We're going to look at PAB. He seems to be making uh, the videos constantly. He's the only person that really is doing this attack right now. Um, or maybe he's the only one that's, that's uh, really excelling at it. But... Um, I, I call it the Go Baby. Some people call it the Gobo Baby. Uh, I like the way that he does this here. Um, he quakes out uh, the center spot there so that when his kill squad does go in, um, they're going to have access to all four of those um, air defenses. Uh, brings three golems so that he can get a very, very deep push. Uh, <laughs> that other golem hopefully will reroute here soon. There we go. And kill squad is in, uh, king is in, queen is in, golems are in, heal spell is down, and here we go. So they push in, uh, take out both of those, well, uh, that expo, all of those um, Tesla towers are going to go down here in just a second. And as they start going down, um, he starts sprinkling in. Uh, baby dragons all the way around. Maybe should have waited a little bit on those uh, baby dragons at the 9 o'clock uh, because they, they do take some, uh, I mean, they, he loses all of them to the uh, air defenses, but um, eventually uh, gets that air defense, is going to get this expo, and then that final air defense, and pops the queen's ability, and that is it. Brings out the rest of the baby dragons. There we go. And it is tree stars in the bag. GG, nice job. All right. Um, Bella, I feel like it's been forever since I've mentioned Bella in a video, but uh, here we go. <laughs> Number 11. Um, so she's coming with a Bolalo. Uh, starts by... Uh, making sure that her bowlers aren't going to turn around and head after that, um, uh, what is it called up there? Uh, builder's Hut. Uh, starts getting this funnel set now. Both both golems are in. Wallbreaker comes in. And wall is open. Jump is down. Bowlers are coming. There we go. Very nice funnel. Um, everything is looking good at this point. Even has a baby dragon in there or, uh, helping out with that uh, CC, which is nice. Um, Rage is down. And there goes the first air defense. Um, heal is down right at the perfect time because you, she hits that double giant bomb. And it, it doesn't have any effect. It's perfect. And there goes soon here the... Uh, Second air defense. That thing lasted forever. But um, she's pushing in now. Has her um, hounds on that top air defense up there. That uh, blower is causing a little bit of problems. But not anymore. It is gone. Queen is going to get this expo. And she loses it right there. But expo is down. Um, hound popped, which is perfect. Uh Unfortunately, second hound doesn't pop, but it doesn't matter. This is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Bellona. A couple of loons in the back end for cleanup. And that is it. Beautiful attack. All right. Let's go and check out Laz. So Lazarus hit number 10. Um... And this was a very cool, uh, cool attack. So um, it's a shattered uh, hobo instead of the stoned hobo that we often see. Um, and if you if you look up here, there is a lot of garbage uh, that he has to clean up. Um, so he spends a, a fair amount of time setting this funnel and sets a fantastic funnel here. Uh, when there's a lot of garbage out there, though, um, it does make it easier to set a funnel because you don't have to drop your golems right away. You can let things kind of work their way in. Uh, when you're doing, when you're doing a hobo attack, I'll say this right now, if you know where the, uh, Tesla farm is, uh, getting your, 
getting your kill squad in at that Tesla farm is just money, and that's exactly what's going on here. So uh, Lazarus has a poison down, has a jump down. Um, going to throw that rage down here in just a sec. Uh, CC is now d almost disposed of. Uh, the <laughs> witch is causing some issues, but there we go. Pops the king, has a, has a rage down, uh, gets the queen right there, enemy queen. Second jump is down, and you're going to see he just clears out this base. Um, hogs are coming in from the, uh, the 10 o'clock up here. Has a heal spell for those hogs yet. Uh, waits until defenses are distracted and then sends hogs in on distracted defenses. Just, you know, the, the old... Uh, the old surgical hogs uh, type of type of deployment, um, and that is it. There is one point defense left. Heel goes down on top of it, and he has got lots of hogs left over for cleanup. It is uh, tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Laz. And look at all those hogs. I love to see a good hog attack. All right, we're going to check out one more Town Hall 9 attack, and then we're going to move on to the 10v10 triples, and that is Heart, or Heartless, who hit number 8 um, with a Penta. Uh, we've said this, I've said this in the past, Heartless is just fantastic uh, with this Penta. Um, so uh, when you have a base setup like this, where you've got the CC and the Queen that can both be killed with just your Royals, um, you're kind of setting yourself uh, up for uh, a big, <laughs> I mean, uh, you're setting yourself up for Penta is what you're setting yourself up for. Um, the This base, though, um, the pathing, if you look at it, the loon pathing up here is not the greatest. Um, and and you'll see it's, it's because of both the layout and the way that the air defenses are structured in here, that the loon pathing was just weird. And so this is actually a cleanup hit. This wasn't the first hit. Um, and and it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's set up to make you want to do Penta, um, but to make you fail at it. Uh, unfortunately, for the cheese, um, Heartless is really good at doing at, at planning Pentas. So uh, there we go. I mean, um, two air defenses are down. Third air defense is about to go down. Um, there it is. Hounds move up, and one hound left alive, but don't think, yep, I knew it was, thought it was going to pop there, and that is it. Um, nothing left but clean up here. I mean, he's got uh, a couple of whiz towers, fortunately. He's got a haste that's still alive there. Things are going to shoot right through that haste, and that whiz tower goes down in no time. And now it is just clean up. Uh, a couple of loons on the back end for clean up, but that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Heartless. Heartless also had a six-pack this war. I'm pretty sure Heartless had a six-pack this war. All right. Let's just quick check here. Yep, he did. All right, let's move on and let's check out Wiser, who hit number seven with a Bolalo. Now, this is interesting. A lot of times at Town Hall 10, when you see Bolalos, you see them uh, with... Uh, extra bowlers, but Wiser just brings a CC full of bowlers, and that's it. Um, so two golems down. Notice that these air defenses are stacked all across the bottom here. Um, this is going to make this Bolalo actually uh, go go a lot smoother um, because one jump actually gets you access to three air defenses and a. Uh, Tesla tower, or I mean a uh, Inferno tower. So bowlers are in, king is in, queen is in. Here comes the CC. Uh, that Inferno tower is about to go down here. I believe the king jumps over there. Maybe he doesn't. I don't remember. Oh, nope. Queen takes it out. But there goes the second air defense now. Two air defenses are down. And at this point, you could bowl easy. Or I mean, you could start the air portion easy. There goes a third air defense. And the only air defense that's left is a Town Hall 9 air defense, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because uh, Wiser has two level 3 hounds uh, going up on a Town Hall 9 air defense, uh, and they're just 
they're not going to pop, unfortunately. Um, you'll see here these these things not popping winds up uh, costing him quite a bit later on. So freeze comes down uh, and a haste to get in there and get that uh, get that uh, inferno tower, and they've got a couple of um, tesla towers in there too. Uh, basically, it is GG at this point, right? I mean, he's got. Two defenses left that can target air troops. Unfortunately, uh, these skellies, these Town Hall 10 skellies, are just eating his balloons alive. Um, and those hounds are not popping, right? So skellies uh, actually are going... To, he's got some troops down over here for cleanup, but you can see these skellies are going to take down every one of those, those loons. However... After they take down the loons, they do do something very nice. And they pop both of those hounds. And that really helps out. There it is. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Wiser. Okay. Uh, last one we're going to look at. We're going to check out Armor Queen. Uh, I've said this in, in the past. This is Chad um, from uh, 2.0. And uh, Chad is also doing a Bolalo, um, a little bit different than uh, the, the one that, the, the setup that uh, Wiser had. You can see here, we've got max air defenses and they're spread out. Um, he's coming in from the, the bottom here, starts setting his funnel. Uh, Gollum is down right on that wizard tower. Starts using, uh, getting some minions to, to set a very nice funnel around this corner. Um, going to wind up going in right around this uh, archer tower here. Second golem is down. Uh, queen can actually reach this. And so she does. Now we've got one down. Uh, now he just needs to get, he's wall broken in now. Just needs to get the bowlers in and knock down that second air defense. Unfortunately, the queen starts taking some heat here. He uh, holds on and eventually does pop his queen's ability right there. Uh, she latches on, or the Inferno Tower latches onto a bunch of other stuff at this point. Um, this is actually where the king hops in. He's gonna take out that Inferno Tower, gonna take out those Tesla Towers. Um, we've got the CC down, uh, enemy queen just goes down, and bam, there goes one of the um, Expos uh, got both of his hounds in there. Uh, so this uh, Inferno Tower on single target is actually really nice for an air attack uh, because when it targets loons, it doesn't do any more damage than a Archer Tower does to loons. Now, unfortunately, when it ta targets a hound or a golem or something, right, it eats them up pretty quickly. Uh, at this point, doesn't matter. Um, he did get both of his loons to, or both of his hounds to pop, and we've just got a couple of defenses left. Plenty of cleanup over on this side. Um, got Archer Tower, Archer Tower, and a uh, Wizard Tower. Unfortunately, um, a couple of loons on the back end, so that that Wizard Tower gets distracted on those two loons, and not this massive group of loons that's heading towards it. Uh, gets a little bit hairy here can see that they're moving around to every defense that doesn't target loons, unfortunately. Uh, do finally move up onto the Archer Tower, uh, take it out, and now it is just clean up. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job. Sexy attack. All right. And that is it. Um, once again, there's the final stats. Uh, it was a great CWLL season. Um, we're, in, you know, we're, we're all disappointed that we didn't make it into the uh, playoffs, but uh, we're looking forward to next season, and we hope to see you guys all then. Uh, this is Dr. D from One Hive Invicta. Clash on.